Greetings, everyone. Jim here and NATO to decide how to deal with Russian troop buildup near Ukraine's border. This is a situation, ladies and gentlemen, that I have been watching uh, for a number of weeks now. This could become something significant considering everything going on uh, on this globe right now. All options are on the table and how to respond to Russia's, quote, large and unusual, close quote, troop buildup near Ukraine's border. And the NATO alliance will decide on the next move following consultations next week. The State Department's top U.S. diplomat for European affairs said on Friday. Uh, now, Assistant Secretary of State for European and Eurasian Affairs, Karen Donfried, told reporters in a telephone briefing, as you can appreciate, she said, all options are on the table and there's a toolkit that includes a whole range of options. And I wonder, well, I know what some of those options are. Uh, whether those options will be deployed, that's another matter. Joe Biden said he was concerned about the situation in Ukraine and repeated Washington's support for Ukraine's territorial integrity. He's going to speak to uh, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. He's going to speak to Vlad, Vladimir Putin. And Anthony Blinken is heading to Latvia and Sweden next week to attend meetings of NATO and uh, OSCE, which is the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. And um, it's been said by Ms. Ms. Don Free that it's now for the alliance to decide what are the next moves that NATO wants to take. And meanwhile, uh, being that there are 92,000 troops massed around Ukraine's borders, that's 92,000 Russian troops, uh, Moscow has dismissed any suggestions that uh, it would be planning to invade and has said it is not threatening anyone and defended its right to deploy troops as it wished. Now, um, here is a, a, a quick video from Rage X uh, that appeared on Twitter of military equipment of the Slavic army moving um, toward Latvia to the borders with Belarus and Russia, being transported to Latvia to the, the borders with Belarus and Russia. Okay, folks, you get the gist of that, but it this does point out that equipment and troops are moving around in that area of the world in preparation for something. Now, is this just a distraction to keep our eyes off of something else, like perhaps maybe an incoming asteroid, which is another serious concern? Is uh, everything that we're seeing right now a distraction to uh, take our eyes off of the possibility of an incoming asteroid? Or is this a legitimate a military situation that is about to occur, which uh, could? We've, we've had this type of situation before with Russia and the Ukraine, obviously, going back in to uh, 2014. This appears to be more serious if it occurs. This is something I will be watching. You should keep an eye on, too. It just it seems like the world is just, it, it's a pot about to boil over right now. And the water that is boiling over will be hot. I will leave you a link below. Please like this video. Please share it. Please subscribe and please comment. I'm noticing that uh, comments are being deleted from my videos uh, by YouTube. But if you've got something to say, go ahead and post it. And let's hope that it stays there. There are links below to fiction books of mine to this website here, stormwarningnow.com. And most importantly of all, my friends, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is Jim signing off. God bless you, and I will see you soon.